She's the first responder who made history as the first American to get the COVID vaccine in yesterday's emergency rollout. And she's here to tell us how she's feeling this morning. Please welcome critical care nurse Sandra Lindsay. Hey, welcome to The View. Good morning. Yeah. I'm extremely humbled and honored to be in your presence this morning. And thank you for this platform to share my experiences. Well, I want to ask you about this because you were the very first American to receive part one of the two part COVID vaccine. So right now, how are you feeling? Are you experiencing any side effects? And I tell you, that needle looks very long. And I can't, I have to look away every time they go to put it in because I think, oh, that's too much needle for me. But how are you doing? I, it was just a little pinch, Whoopi. Didn't hurt at all. Dr. Chester was amazing. Um, I feel great this morning. No muscle pain, no aches, no malaise, no fever. Um, mild soreness at the site on a scale of one to 10. It's a one. Wow. Wow. Amazing. So, nurse, Joy. nurse, nurse Lindsay, first of all, we're, we're honored to have a first responder here. You guys are the heroes of this entire miserable year. So thank you for coming on the show. And it has been a very tough year for many Americans and, and watching the vaccine start to ship across the country and then seeing you get the vaccine <laughs> made a lot of people happy and emotional because it gave us hope that the end is near. So tell us how it, it makes you feel. Does it give you a feeling of hope too? Absolutely. A feeling of hope, um, relief, um, a feeling that healing is, is here. And um, it's, it's just incredibly important for us as healthcare workers to, to have that hope. The last couple of months have been um, really tough physically and mentally. And I, I am just so happy that this is here for us and it signifies hope and healing. Um, and as I mentioned before, it was just a huge sense of relief and like a burden was lifted off my shoulders yesterday as I got that shot. Sunny. Wow. Well, Nurse Lindsay, uh, there are a lot of people, including many in the Black and Latino communities, who are nervous to take this vaccine. What do you want to say to all of the people who are thinking about skipping the vaccine out of fear and uh, mistrust? I would say to them, use me as an inspiration. I hope that I've inspired you. Listen to the experts like Dr. Fauci, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, and others. Speak to your healthcare providers. Do not skip the vaccine. I trust science. What I don't trust is COVID-19, and you should not either. So please, please, please listen to me and the others. I have seen a lot, experienced a lot. And so I appeal to you. This was mostly why I wanted to do this, not to be on. Um, it's nice to be on tele television, to have this platform, to share with the masses. But I did this to preserve public health and safety. Uh, New York City was the epicenter of COVID cases in the spring, and Queens, where you work, was the hardest hit. You've been on the front lines of this fight for the past 10 months. Take us through what this year has been like for you. Extremely challenging. I can't even begin to describe the, the scenes, the long work hours, um, the pain, the suffering, the deaths that we've seen how my team worked tirelessly, but they were so courageous. The incredible sacrifices that they made to be at work and to, to save lives. Um, now we're about 25% of where we were in April. We've learned a lot of lessons as a health system and we are prepared for any second wave. Nurse Lindsay, let me ask you now about moving forward. 300,000 uh, deaths already, many hospitals short on supplies. Give us a sense at your hospital. How's it going there? What do you guys need? So we've never been short of supplies, even at the, the peak of our pandemic, of the pandemic in, in March and April. And so we are ready. We have the supplies. Our health system is incredibly supportive. Um, we have everything that we need. 
they're they're committed to the health and safety of their employees and so we are well supported here thank you well, we just want to say once again, thank you to you, Sandra Lindsay, because without folks like you, folks like the rest of us probably wouldn't stand a chance out here. So thank you.